All right, so here's a quick video on this uh, Dell. This is an Optiplex, I believe, um, Optiplex 3070. Uh, but it's a pretty standard case that Dell has. I'm just gonna show you the insides of this computer. Um, here, let's just look really quickly here in the back. Here we have a VGA port for like video um, for to connect the monitor. Uh, but you can also connect it via HDMI or via display port and here we have four usb ports the blue one here is a faster one um, that's the usb 3.0 these are probably 2.0 then you have a network connection here and then you have a power plug uh, these are very easy to open up you don't need any tools uh, usually these you can just unscrew this one and this one with your fingers if it if you can't then you might need a phillips screwdriver or a flathead screwdriver you can use either one but in most cases, you can just unscrew it like this. And then here, you can just grab it from here, put your thumb here, and this slides back. And that easily lets you open this, okay? So now, at this point, we can see the inside uh, of the computer. So let's look at a couple things. So here, this is a big fan that shoots out through this vent here. And that means that the CPU, the main processor, is right down here, okay? That's what that piece is. Usually these vertical chips here is your memory. So here we can see that this one has one chip uh, on one slot. And then back here, this black one is a second slot. So that tells you you can add another memory chip if you want to onto there, okay? And then these cables that are sticking out. Now this one does have uh, uh, these old school CD drives, which no one uses anymore, but uh, it has a CD drive. So when you look here, the CD drive is actually plugged in down here, and this is where it's at. So then this piece here is your hard drive, okay? So this hard drive here, uh, let's say you buy an SSD hard drive and you wanna swap this for an SSD, and there is a whole process you have to go through to like copy all your data from here to the SSD drive, but once you have it copied, let's say you wanna replace it and, and connect it to that instead, all you have to do is really two cables. You have this, these, there's a power cable and a data cable. And it's these two here that are plugged into the hard drive. So all you do is you unplug it here. If you can wiggle it, it unplugs. That's this one, it looks like this. And then there's this cable here. You unplug that one. So now you have these two SATA cables uh, for SATA drives that you can plug into the new uh, SSD. Now SSD has no movable parts inside of it, and usually it's like plastic and metal, uh, but it's essentially like a, a chip where everything gets stored. So you can actually, if you don't wanna even deal with taking out this hard drive, it, it's fine to like, just set it here. Uh, I've even like duct taped it on both, si on both sides and just had it like placed somewhere. Now, I don't know if it'll fit because of this thickness here, but you can test it and see. But essentially you can put the flash drive here, and then you can just plug these two cables in and that's it, then you're done. Now, if you do wanna remove the hard drive uh, and just put it in this location, you can go through that process of doing that. The, it, Dell makes it super simple to remove these devices. Like here, there's arrows that tell you, like if you wanna remove this hard drive, all you gotta do is basically move this like this and then this just pops out, all right? I already unplugged it, so this would be the hard drive. You could take out the hard drive, then you get the SSD drive, Put it in directly here if you want um, duct tape it if you want if you want to actually set it inside the slots here since the ssg is going to be thinner you would have to get some kind of clamping adapter that you can buy if you want to actually put it in this spot here um, so and this essentially just pops out i can push it and this just comes out so i can even if i want to just put it here and then put the ssg drive here you know duct tape the sides plug it in and then you're done, right? So that's what this is. Uh, if you wanna remove this piece so you can get to the CD drive here, also very simple, you have arrows here. So you can just slide this this way. Now this is unlocked. Um, now there is the front plastic piece here. So you can just, again, follow the blue here. Just move these three here. And it's all plastic and this just slides out. And now I can actually easily take this piece out, All right? And then in here, I have the CD, CD drive is down there. You can see it right here. Um, and you could deal with this if you wanted to. In my case, I don't have to 
do anything with it. I'll just put it there. So here again is the memory chip. This allows two memory chips. And then if you see something like this, like a short little piece like this that's that's in a slot, uh, this is gonna be like your either your Wi-Fi or your Bluetooth. And, um, and um, that's what this piece here is. So it's like an antenna uh, for your connection there. Usually these are Bluetooth, I believe. So, and the Wi-Fi could be built in or it could be a separate one. All right, so um, here's a port if you wanna add an additional uh, card for a higher performance. You can also add that if you wanted to. But, all right, so at this uh, Dell Optiplex computer, and um, let's just put these pieces back together here. Again, I can just slide this in like this, snap it in, go like that. Now that's in there. And then here I can just slide this. I am gonna be replacing and putting another SSD drive. So I'm not gonna put this hard drive back in, but you can see how this snaps back in there. Um, this I can just snap it here, go like this. That's in there now. And then I can just go here and put this back in here. I'm doing everything with one hand, so it's a little bit harder, but I should be able to find the slots here. There it is. And then I can slide it back in and then I can just tie it. So super simple. And then there it's closed again. All right. Hope that was helpful to someone out there. Like and subscribe if you like this content, and we'll catch you in the next one. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.